We will now speak about uh, max-min strategies. These make uh, particular sense in the context of uh, zero-sum games, but actually are applicable quite uh, to, to all games. What is a max-min strategy? It's simply put a player's strategy that maximizes their payoff, assuming the other player uh, is out to get them. Uh, we will uh, def we will concentrate primarily on the two player case here again because when we get to zero sum games they, those really make only sense in the case of two players. Um, but keep in mind that one could define this kind of more generally uh, when we speak about uh, max min strategy. So the uh, max min strategy is a strategy that m uh, maximizes my worst case uh, outcome and my maximum value or safety level is that payoff that's guaranteed by the uh, maximum strategy and here it is defined uh, formally the maximum strategy for player i is the strategy s1 that maximizes the minimum that the other player remember that minus i is the player other than i would uh, hold um, a play one down to. And the maximum value is defined similarly to the, be the value of that maximum strategy. Now, why, why would we want to think about the maximum strategy? Um, one can think of it either uh, as a um, simply a sort of a certain cautionary Maybe uh, the other people will make some mistakes and not act in their own best interest. Uh, maybe I'm not sure exactly what their payoffs are. There are a lot of interpretations. Or you can simply be uh, paranoid uh, about, um, about, about them and think that they're out to get you. And you know the, you know the saying, you know, uh, even the uh, paranoid have uh, enemies. That's the max min strategy. And just to confuse things, we'll also speak about the min-max strategy. The min-max strategy is strategy against, if you wish, the other player in the two-player game, is a strategy that minimizes their payoff on the assumption that they're trying to maximize it. And so here is the formal definition. The min-max strategy for player i is playing against the other guy, which we know by minus i is the strategy that minimizes the maximum payoff as uh, attempted by the other guy of the payoff to the other guy. And the min-max value is simply the value of that min-max strategy. The value to player one. Now, why, uh, why would uh, player one uh, want to, um, want to har harm the other guy? Well, um, you could, you could, just be out to get him. That, that's a possibility. Or they could be playing a zero-sum game. And in a zero-sum game, uh, hurting the other guy is tantamount to uh, improving your own, uh, your own payoff. And so um, in, in the setting of zero-sum games, uh, max-min and min-max strategies make a lot of sense. And in fact, in a very famous theorem due to John von Neumann, um, it will prove that uh, in a zero-sum game, by definition, we consider only two-player uh, such games, any Nash equilibrium, the player receives a payoff that is equal to both his max-min value and his min-max value. And, um, and that means that, uh, so we, we'll call that the value of the game, the value for player one is called the value of the game, and uh, that means that the the set of maximum strategies are really the same as set of the min max strategies. That is, trying to improve your worst case situation is the same as trying to minimize the other guy's best case situation. And any ma maximum strategy profile or min max strategy profile, because they're the same, uh, constitute a Nash equilibrium. And furthermore, those are all the Nash equilibria that exist. And so the payoffs in all natural equilibria is the same, namely the value of the game. One way to get a concrete feel for it is graphically, and here's the game of matching pennies. This is a game where uh, you, each of us chooses heads and tails with some probability. And uh, 
if we uh, uh, if it comes up uh, either if we if both if if, if 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 the result of our randomization uh, I end up choosing head and you you end up playing tail you win and convert and, and vice versa also if I chose tail and you head but if we both chose a head or both chose tail I win and so here are the payoffs uh, you see here the strategy spaces uh, this is player two uh, is kind of increasing their probability of playing heads and this is uh, player one and on this dimension you have the value of the game the payoff to uh, player one and the only natural equilibrium uh, is for both to randomize 50-50 it's just right here it's conveniently looked by slicing uh, the uh, the uh, the three-dimensional uh, structure uh, in this way and you sort of see that uh, it, it's got to be an equilibrium in the sense that player player one could be moving along uh, this uh, this curve but if as he does it his payoffs would only drop and so he's trying to maximize the value he wouldn't do it and conversely player two can only traverse around along this but if he does that the payoffs would only increase and he's trying to minimize the value so um, so uh, you get a, a stable point which is which for obvious reasons is called a saddle point in general we can use the uh, minmax theorem to compute the uh, equilibria of uh, zero-sum game and we do it by simply laying out uh, a linear program that captures the game and here it is so u one star is going to be the value of the game that is uh, the payoff to uh, player one in equilibrium and so we're going to specify from players two point of view we could have done it the other way around also so what player two is saying is simply says for each of the actions of uh, player one each action that player one might consider i want to find a mixed strategy s2 so here's my mixed strategy s2 it will look at, at all my pure strategies k and make sure that the probability that's the probability distribution over those some say sum to one and they're non-negative so what I'd like to do is that the best response to my strategy by player one for any of these actions will never exceed this value of the game because I'm trying to minimize it. So I'm going to find the lowest u that has a property that player one doesn't have a profitable deviation by any of his uh, of his um, uh, of these pure strategies so when I look at the payoff for uh, player 2 when I play a2k and he plays a1j that would that j that I'm considering right now and I multiply the probability of in my mixed strategy playing a2k I want I don't want uh, that player one pl uh, that other player player one to have a profitable deviation so it's got to be that his expected payoff will be no greater than the uh, value u1 star so uh, clearly this is a correct formulation of the game and it is a linear program as we know linear programs are efficiently uh, solvable uh, in theory by a uh, a uh, interior method that is provably uh, polynomial in practice by procedures uh, that are worst case exponential but in practice work well.